Welcome to your faith update. The year was 1868, and a pharmacist by the name of Sanford Fillmore Bennett, age 31, was filling prescriptions and handling sales at his pharmacy in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. He had a friend by the name of Joseph Webster. Joseph entered the store, and he was a local musician, a vocalist, a violinist, an amateur composer who suffered from periods of depression. When he entered the store, Sanford looked up, and he couldn't help but notice how down in the mouth he appeared, and he said, hey, what's the matter now? He said, no matter. It'll be all right by and by. An idea for a hymn hit Sanford like a flash. I mean, he just buried his head in a piece of paper and began to write frantically. As a matter of fact, while he was writing, a couple of customers actually came into the store at that time, but it didn't, it didn't affect him in the least. He just kept on writing, frantically writing. So they took the time to walk on over by the stove there, and they sat and visited with Joseph for just a few moments. Well, finally, Sanford rose and he joined them, and he handed a sheet of paper to his friend, and he said, Here's your prescription, Joe. I hope it works. Webster read the words aloud, and he read these words. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that heavenly shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that heavenly shore. Boy, I'll tell you, at that point, uh, uh, Joseph, he, he just got his fiddle down. He started plucking a few notes, and he kind of just got a tune that just kind of clicked with it. And so at the, at Sanford said, hey, listen, there's four of us in the store here. We're kind of a, we can make up a good quartet. Let's go ahead and try to sing it through. So the four of them began to sing this new song, the sweet by and by for the very first time. And as they were singing, another customer came in by the name of R.R. R. Crosby. He said, gentlemen, I never heard that song before, but it is immortal. Well, it is immortal, and for the last 150 years, we've been singing in the sweet by and by. I don't know, maybe you've been a little down in the mouth lately. Maybe all the social distancing and some of the things that have been taking places and the changes that have happened in our lives have kind of got us out of our schedule and feeling a little bit depressed, a little bit down. I want you to remember there's a sweet by and by that awaits us. There's a reason to be happy in the Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful song that is. But what a wonderful promise we have from the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to just continue to seek His face, to continue to remember all the good things that God has done, and to remember that there is a sweet by and by, and that this too will pass. We're going to be okay, aren't we? May God bless you, and may God meet every one of your needs.